So, uh, welcome to part 3 of the Scatterplot movies. Um, this time it's uh, really the first question. What happens if in a normal and good adjusted um, portfolio one big additional project is inserted or started? Um, how, the, how does the Scatterplot react to this event? So, first of all, we have to look on a portfolio. I just uh, take the elephant out. Uh, so, uh, this is a portfolio with um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 projects equally sized in the efforts in the work packages. And it's really just one constraint or one resources B with three um, capacity that means nothing else that if you really want to do this you have to stagger the project and the best uh, way to stagger is um, a, a, to start each project with uh, 11 days um, delay so let's have a look what happens um, it should be very easy the the project the points in the scatter plot plot have to move from left to right to the upper upper corner of the yellow so they are walking upwards no problem they are moving a little around but they meet somewhere between yellow red and green and you see already they are moving like like small mices mouses uh, from left to top so that's it so uh, this is a, a scatter plot or a moving scatter plot uh, of a very well adjusted um, portfolio. Um, so now what what happens if I just turn the elephant on? So it's it's available. It's a bit. It's a little slightly, just slightly bigger, and uh, you have to take care and have a look at this. It's not very much. In the end, it's a few days more, so it's not a big elephant at all. Um, what will happen? Uh, the resources uh, are not enough for everyone, so they have to be shared. That means nothing else that not just the elephant um, has a problem, but all other projects too. Let's have a CCC in the beginning. Oh, uh, here you see if it's getting red, then the elephant. Uh, is occurring so now it's it's active and you see immediately how not just the elephant but also other projects are getting uh, worse and you see after a while um, that the projects turn back to normal that you can see also in the buffer consumption um, until the, the elephant occurs at day 40 so all the projects um, before that, that finish before that or nearly before that will have no impact. So you see the first three, um, 90, 70, 78. And in the moment the elephant occurs, the buffer consumption goes through the roof. And just with, with this few additional days. Um, and after a while it goes back. Um, Back to normal um, and then you see here the elephant of course he had to suffer too um, yes that is pretty much clear perhaps we can adjust a little the amount of the size of the elephant if you put a real big elephant in the effect has to be of course much worse so elephant alarm starts now so and you see immediately how the points are moving up higher and higher and higher and it takes of course because of the size of the elephant longer to recover and most of the projects are now in the red so that's it it's for me, it was very uh, astonishing how severe such an elephant uh, has influence. 
Um, now we can have a look at, at the following. I just put it back to a small elephant. Um, and here you can change um, the operational priority scheduler algorithm. Um, this is first come first serve. That means nothing else that keep the priority like in the beginning, the strategic priority. And if uh, the elephant occurs, you just get um, uh, the worst priority, the lowest. So let's have a look. What should happen? Uh, most of the uh, elephant, uh, most of the project will go smoothly through, but the elephant, he has to suffer really hard uh, because he was the latest in the queue. The others suffer a little too uh, because it's not so um, uh, deterministic. Um, um, someone has to deal with uh, the uh, elephant, but in the end, uh, just the elephant really gets um, the problem. Uh, there's an, another option you can choose that is random priority that is very often seen in the companies. But uh, in, in the end, random priority just means, okay, our projects suffer randomly um, and that's not so worse uh, than um, just doing first come, first serve. So you see the, the projects are suffering, of course. A few of them are really getting high, but after a while it goes back to normal. So, but it's it's really more stochastic. You don't know which of the project suffers. And if you uh, unfortunately, um, um, ta or if it just uh, uh, targets uh, the most important project in the company, then you are lost. So uh, if you if you choose random priority on operational base, um, uh, the problem of the elephant just levels out. But it can be that a few of them are really getting um, in big trouble. A critical chain helps to smoothen that. Uh, but in the end, if you overload your pipeline, um, you really suffer. Uh, you can't avoid that, so you see the points moving up, but with the critical chain schedule you see uh, one of or two uh, just got problems. But it's not so hard, uh, it's, it's smoothly distributed, uh, so it's a more stable system. So that's um, for me the first uh, question um, is somehow answered. Uh, what happens if in a smoothly, in a very good um, staggered portfolio, one additional project occur. And even if it's not a very big project, the standard project, it has a lot of um, impact on the whole portfolio. Just to show it once again, um, if you remove the element out of the portfolio, then you will have a complete different picture. Um, the projects are uh, uh, walking smooth uh, to the right upper corner, no big deviations, uh, very predictable. Um, and yeah, that's a stable portfolio, nothing else. So and that really shows uh, one of the big effects of uh, critical chain. First of all, um, you really have to stagger. Without staggering, you will have no chance at all. And if you stagger, then you get a smooth, uh, clear portfolio because of the um, operational priority. And if an um, additional project occurs, then you really get in big trouble. Uh, it changes tremendously. Really, I have to show it again. So you have the, the picture in your head uh, all between uh, 70 and 100% buffer consumption. If you switch the elephant on, you, you get a, a really big deviation, unpredictable. Uh, many projects suffer a lot. So now it starts elephant alarm and you immediately see how the, the projects get in trouble and big trouble, not, not just small trouble, big trouble. They are late 
for more than uh, 80 60 percent of their planet duration so that's it um, that's part three elephants occur thank you much